Lamborghini is Lero. The Islero was introduced at the 1968 Geneva Auto Show alongside the Lamborghini Espada. The Islero was intended to be a more visually conservative alternative to the then radical Espada. In keeping with the traditional style of the earlier 400 GT, the car's namesake, Islero, was a Miara bull that killed Matador Manuel Rodriguez on August 28, 1947. Lamborghini also produced the car named the Miura from 1966 to 1973 and I've made a video on that if you want to check that out. While the Murcielago was named after another famous individual Miura bull, Caro Zeria Marazzi was chosen to construct the Zalaro's body. This firm was chosen as it was founded by Carlo Marazzi, a former employee of Caro Zeria Turing. Turing had previously produced bodies for the 350 GT and 400 GT. The firm was staffed by former Turing employees along with Marazzi's sons, Mario Sarafino. Ferruccio Lamborghini was rumored to be the true designer of the body, dictating his requirements to Marazzi. The design was essentially a rebody of the 400 GT, with its good outward visibility, roomier interior, and additional soundproofing, improving driver and passenger comfort compared to previous models. The Isolero's body and interior suffered from numerous deficiencies in fit and finish, some of which was corrected in the later Isolero. Lamborghini test driver Bob Wallace stated in an interview that the Isolero's quality issues were due to Marazzi's lack of resources and that Marazzi's built cars were never built to the same quality as those built at Turing. An updated Islero dubbed the Islero S or Islero GTS was released in 1969. There were quite a few styling changes including engine cooling vents on the front fenders, an enlarged hood scoop which supplied air to the interior of the car the engine, slightly flared fenders, tinted windows, round side marker lights instead of teardrops on the original, and a fixed section in the door windows. Various other changes included slightly increased power output, larger brake discs, revised rear suspension, and revamped dashboard and interior. A hundred examples of the Zlaro S were built, bringing the production total of the Zlaro nameplate to 225 cars. Ferruccio Lamborghini himself drove an Zlaro during the era, as did his brother Edmondo. The car is also famous for its appearance in the Roger Moore thriller, The Man Who Haunted Himself, and in the Italian short film anthology Vidu Nudu as the car of Silva Cosina. While the Isolero was not intended to be a racing model, French enthusiasts Paul Riley and Roger Laviv attempted to enter a lightly modified Islero chassis 6348 in the 1975 24 Hours of Le Mans to compete in its class. The car was equipped with upgraded brakes and suspension, modified air intake and exhaust system, a roll cage, 100 litres, 26 US gallons fuel tank, 5-point harness, lighting for the racing number, and, a, and hood straps. The Islero suffered a crash during qualifying and was not competitive, with the best lap time of 5 minutes and 28 seconds. Although at the last minute, race officials permitted the Islero team to enter the main race due to withdrawal of another entrant, the team had already left the racetrack after the crash and did not compete. Unveiling the Lamborghini Islero, a testament to timeless elegance and performance. Lamborghini's journey to the Isolero. In the early 1960s, Ferruccio Lamborghini set out to challenge the dominance of established sports car manufacturers. Born from Lamborghini's desire to create the ultimate Grand Tourer, the Isolero emerged as a response to market demand for a luxurious yet high performance vehicle. Collaborating with renowned automotive designer Marcello Gandini of Batoni, Lamborghini embarked on a quest to redefine the boundaries of automotive excellence. Gandini's visionary approach design would ultimately shape the Islero into a true icon of the Italian craftsmanship and engineering prowess. Design and styling, the aesthetic majesty of the Islero. Gandini's genius 
is evident in every curve and contour of the Lamborghini Islero. From its sleek silhouette to its distinctive pop-up headlights, the Islero exudes an aura of elegance and sophistication that is unmatched in the world of automotive design. But beauty is more than skin deep. The Islero's aerodynamic form not only enhances its visual appeal, but also contributes to its impressive performance on the road. Every element of the Islero's design serves a purpose, resulting in a harmonious fusion of form and function that captivates the senses and commands attention wherever it goes. Exploring the Islero's powertrain and performance. At the heart of the Lamborghini Islero lies a vast piece of engineering. The legendary Lamborghini V12 engine, with a displacement of 3.9 litres and boasting an output of 320 horsepower, this symphony of power propels the Islero from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 6.4 seconds, with a top speed exceeding 155 miles per hour. But numbers alone cannot convey the visceral thrill of driving the Islero. With its responsive throttle, precise handling, and thunderous exhaust note, the Islero offers an exhilarating driving experience that defies description. It's a feeling of pure adrenaline, a rush of excitement that leaves a lasting impression on all who have the privilege of sitting behind the wheel. Experiencing the Islero driving dynamics. Slide into the driver's seat with the Lamborghini Islero and you are transported to a world of pure automotive bliss. But it's when you turn the key and unleash the Islero's mighty V12 engine that the magic truly begins. The car surges forward with the unbridled enthusiasm devouring the asphalt beneath its tires as you navigate twisty mountain roads or cruise along sun-drenched highways. Every input is met with immediate response, every corner tackled with precision and poise. This is driving in its pure form, a symphony of power, performance and passion that leaves you breathless and wanting more. The Islero in context, Lamborghini's place in automotive history. To understand the significance of the Lamborghini Islero, we must first appreciate its place within the broader landscape of Lamborghini's storied history. From its humble beginnings as a challenger to the establishment, Lamborghini has evolved into a symbol of automotive excellence, with models like the Mira, Countach, and Aventador cementing its legacy as a true icon of the supercar world. The Islero occupies a special place in this lineage, serving as a bridge between the early success of Lamborghini and the groundbreaking innovations that would follow in the years to come. It embodies the spirit of its creator, Ferruccio Lamborghini, who dared to dream of building the ultimate Grand Tourer, a dream that lives on in every Islero ever produced. enduring appeal, the Islero's legacy in the modern era. Though production of the Lamborghini Islero ceased in 1969, its legacy lives on in the hearts and minds of enthusiasts around the world. From vintage car shows to prestigious Concours d'Elegance events, the Islero continues to captivate audience with its timeless elegance and unparalleled performance. But its influence extends far beyond the confines of the automotive world. The Zlero has left an indelible mark on popular culture, appearing in movies, video games, and even inspiring works of art. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of Italian automotive design and engineering, and a reminder of the timeless allure of the Lamborghini brand. As we conclude our journey through the history of the Lamborghini Azlero, we are left with a profound appreciation of this timeless masterpiece of automotive engineering and design. From its striking exterior styling to exhilarating performance on the road, the Azlero represents the pinnacle of Italian craftsmanship and innovation, a true icon of automotive excellence. So let us celebrate the legacy of the Lamborghini Islaro, honor the visionaries, engineers, and craftsmen who brought this magnificent machine to life. May its spirit continue to inspire future generations of automotive enthusiasts, reminding us all of the enduring power of passion, creativity, and ingenuity in the world of automobiles. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. And if you want to see more episodes like this, click here. Let us know in the comments what car you want to see next.